So cancer is so complex, it's not a disease that is dealt with just by one doctor, it's dealt with by a team of doctors. This team of doctors include the radiologist, pathologist, surgeons, medical oncologist, radiotherapist and palliative care doctors. So a radiologist would be the person who look at imaging. So there are many types of imaging, x-rays, ultrasound, CT scan, MRI, PET CT, all sorts of imaging that are available. So you do need a doctor that specialises in just that subject in order to learn how to read, interpret the scans properly. So they will identify where the cancer is, then pathologists step in, we will do a biopsy this from the where the cancer is, so we send the sample to pathologists who will then analyse what sort of cancer it is. Well, cancer is a common word but our body has many different parts and different parts will have different types of cancers. They will guide us, give us the exact information on what this cancer is, where it belongs and then we would treat accordingly. A surgeon will remove the cancer, so if it's breast cancer, surgeon can go in to remove the breast or if it's bowel cancer, they can go to the bowel and remove the bowel cancer. My specialty is medical oncology. We are a team of doctors that give chemotherapy or other targeted therapy or hormonal therapy. We give this treatment that covers the whole body because it goes into the system. That's why we call systemic therapy. It goes to everywhere where blood will travel to. The important point of this is that cancer cells, the hallmark is that it can spread to other parts of the body. So a surgeon may remove the tumour locally, but if the cells escape from the original site, then these cells, giving time, will be able to grow, say, in the lungs or in the liver. So this will become stage 4 cancer when cancer becomes incurable. We know a lot about chemotherapy in the public perception is that it's very toxic. It kills the cancer cells, it kills the good cells, it makes people tired, have uh, lost their hair, unable to eat. This is what we see on movie, it's very dramatic, that is the, um, what is portrayed. But however, in real life, we are able to give a lot of drugs to support patients. So I do not see patients vomiting anymore because we have very strong anti-sickness tablets. Um, hair loss is uh, quite unavoidable, however it's guaranteed that after stopping chemotherapy, hair will regrow. We also have more modern drugs such as uh, cetaximab, dabacizumab, these are very big terms but basically they are modern and targeted drugs, that means they just go directly to where the cancer cells are, sparing the rest of the body. So some patients who are receiving just these drugs would not have any hair loss, any nauseation, any vomiting. We also have hormonal therapy that are for certain types of cancers. So generally speaking, chemotherapy, targeted therapy are not as toxic as they are portrayed in the media and we have a lot of good supportive medicine that can improve patient symptoms. So other specialties involved in the treatment of cancers are radiotherapists. These are the doctors who give x-ray or radiation treatment to the cancer cells. They use the radiation to directly kill the cancer. Again, it's a local form of treatment. Uh, every now and then we have stage 4 cancer patients who are not curable. Then palliative care doctors are very important. There are a group of doctors who concentrate on treating patient symptoms from the cancers or um, when they are not treatable. For example, somebody with uh, cancer in the bowel causing a lot of pain, there are the doctors who will... But this patients are now uh, not suitable for surgery or chemotherapy, then palliative care doctors will come and help with the symptoms. Basically, they are a very important part of the terminal stage of the cancer. In conclusion, I'd like to emphasise that cancer is a complex disease. However, we understand cancer a lot more now and we know how to treat it. We, it's done by a team of doctors, we discuss among ourselves to form the best plan of treatment to achieve the best outcome.